The title of this video will be Perpetual War. In other words, unending war in America. As you can see, this website called Global Research will headline and say, America has been at war 93% of the time. 222 years out of 239 years since 1776. Now that would depend on uh, the actual writing of this article. So they estimate about 93% of the time. Incidentally, I believe this statistic coordinates with another comparison of worldwide history, which is very similar. I believe it's 92%. Uh, I'm not too sure of that right at the moment. But anyhow, uh, in other words, the whole world has been at war since its entire history, 92 or 93% of the time. So rather than go through the list and show you here, um, I'm going to switch to another video that will show you the wars by the camera. And I'm going to allow the camera to do the um, showing of all the wars that the United States has been engaged in over its history. So I'm going to show you that video and I probably will not say a whole lot but maybe now and then I'll say a few words. Okay, so be prepared. America, United States has been at war perpetually. In other words, non-stop war. You know, they're going to include a lot of things that maybe never entered your mind as war, like the Whiskey Rebellion in Pennsylvania. In other words, there's been, quote, conflict and expenditures of monies and people dressing up in uniforms and costumes and going out and camping out in different places. How much of it was actual real war? I doubt that any of it was real. Although the burden of proof is on us to bring that to your attention. But I think there's enough evidence to suggest that all of it's been phony. And that is exposing the major wars like the Civil War hoax, World War II hoax, Vietnam hoax, etc. I have the uh, video playing in double speed so that it can get through for you at a faster rate. But yes, even the so-called Indian Wars were faked. And I'm going to do another video on that to show you some good strong evidence that even the Indian Wars were faked. Now when I say that it doesn't mean the devastating consequences of the Indian Wars didn't happen. Of course, the devastating consequences of basically chasing them off the land and putting them into confinement, and right now, 
we're experiencing a type of confinement based on another type of war the war against a virus and I'm going to show you in another video that yes indeed right now we're in a state of war but it's not the type of war that that you see with guns and bombs and shootings uh, shooting of ammunition off into the air and creating excellent videos of the of people supposedly being uh, engaged in physical combat it's not that at all it's different and I'm going to show you that there that that America basically has been at war a hundred percent of the time now the global research statistic will verify a about a 92 93 percent at war but I'm going to have an additional video to complement this one to show you that it's been perpetual war, meaning 100% of the time. That there's never really been any year where there's not been some type of war. And you have to expand your definition of war away from the whole idea of bombs and bullets to what we're seeing right now and yes indeed I'll do a video on that one too meaning that right now there's a state of war um, in the US but it's war on a hoax virus it's war on something that doesn't exist that's why it can be won because it doesn't exist but there'll be massive spending and indeed already the massive spending is before your eyes the 2.2 trillion dollars and I'm going to show you in a news article that it's put in wartime language and even the um, rearranging of things in the economy is reminiscent of war asking factories to stop producing what they're producing and start producing medical equipment because we need more masks we need more we need more uh, respirators <laughs> reminiscent of the polio scare where people were supposedly in iron lungs we could talk about that too. I've got so many ideas for videos that I can hardly contain myself and 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 stay to one or two ideas. But the whole concept of war has run this nation quite literally since its founding. And this video here is trying to show you basically the guns and the bombs and the knives and the artillery type wars but if you can let loose a little bit and expand the definition of war and I will show you how to do that in another video basically there's never been a time that the US hasn't been in some type of quote war and that would have been in the day and age of my grandparents the day and age of my parents my day and age the day and age of my children and now the day and age of grandchildren and guess what it will be for great grandchildren and great great grandchildren and great 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 grandchildren it just goes on and on and on into eternity now why do you think that might be well I have a lot of ideas on that too number one it's a, uh, people making a great deal of money remember what runs this world is money as the Bible told us the love of money is the root of all evil so that would be a pretty high motive 
another thought I have is that basically Satan is the author of war because before things existed he conducted a war in heaven and he's the master of war he's the one that loves war he's the one that wants to give war to everyone and you can find more about the war in heaven if you read the Old Testament book of Isaiah chapter 14 and then you can proceed on to uh, Ezekiel chapter 28 both those chapters give you some insight into war as it existed um, in heaven under the evil one so let's uh, sort of recap here a little bit and go back to the original which is America has been at war for a long time basically since its existence its founding in 1776 and right to this current moment here which uh, is March 20 or 30th March 30th 2020 and March 30th 2020 we're engaged in what I might call an invisible war. You can't really, quote, see your enemy. <laughs> your enemy's invisible. It's a virus. So there's massive expenditures of government. $2.2 trillion, man. Does that sink into your head? $2.2 trillion to fight a war against something that doesn't even exist. It's just the common cold. But because the media is so good at deception and because almost everyone, quote, gets their information from the media, we have a one mind mindset out there. We're in war with something you can't see. And who, who are the ones that are most suspicious and need to be locked up? That's you, my friend. That's me. We're suspicious. We need to be locked up. We need to be quarantined because the enemy is near by us and can be on us and around us. Well, it's all crazy. And why is it all crazy? Because we've been in perpetual war. But there is a way out. And the way out is to realize you've been fooled. The way out is to realize that you've been hoaxed. The way out is to realize your mind has been tampered with. The way out is to believe what, what God's Word says and and, and let Christ come into your life and take on the mind of Christ. And once you have the mind of Christ, you can see you've been lied to. You've been hoaxed. End of video.